And the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was walking through the marketplace and he came across, he ran into a man by the name of Rukana. Now Rukana was the wrestling champ of Mecca. He was Mecca's Quraysh's strongest man. So the Prophet ﷺ saw that Rukana kind of noticed the Prophet ﷺ and decided to kind of ignore him, turn away from him. So the Prophet ﷺ approached Rukana and he said, Hey Rukana, what's going on? He said, how about I tell you something, I share something with you, and you listen to what I have to say and accept the message if it makes sense to you. So Rukana tells the Prophet ﷺ that if you wrestle me and you can beat me in a wrestling match, I'll sit down and listen to whatever it is that you want, you want to tell me. So the Prophet ﷺ said, all right, let's do this. It's go time. So they get together, they kind of clear out some space, you know, a few people gather around, and the Prophet ﷺ, you know, kind of rolls up his sleeves, kind of gets, you know, gets, gets himself ready to go. They get into their postures and their positions, and it's go, time to wrestle. And the Prophet ﷺ goes in, picks him up, and body slams him. And you know the body slam? Again, if you've ever seen, you know, WWE wrestling, May Allah subhanahu wa forgive you. But, um, you know, when you body slam somebody on their back, you throw them to the ground on their back. Except this time it's not fake, it's for real. So the Prophet ﷺ picked up Rukana and body slammed him. And, you know, when you, when you get body slammed like that, it knocks the wind out of you. So the wind was knocked out of him and he was shocked. And he took a couple of minutes to recover and then he looks at the Prophet ﷺ and he goes, you know, nobody, let alone, for, forget about beating me, Nobody's ever put me to the ground. I don't understand how you did that. Let's go again. And they get back into their positions and go, fight. And the Prophet ﷺ picks him up and body slams him again. And then Rukana is like completely shocked. And he's like, oh my God, what just happened? And he gets up again and he goes, I don't understand what's going on. And he says, one more time, all or nothing. And so... Again, they get into their stance, they get ready to start wrestling, and the Prophet ﷺ goes inside, grabs Rukana, and body slams him for the third time. And by this point, Rukana can't even get up. He was down for a couple of minutes, just like his body, like the wind is knocked out of him, his mind is blown. He's just completely shocked. And he finally gets up and he tells the Prophet ﷺ, like, nobody's ever beaten me before, dude. And you body slammed me three times. I don't understand what's going on. And so this is a pretty awesome story in and of itself. But here's the catch. The Prophet ﷺ tells him, you want to know something more amazing than that? And then the Prophet ﷺ tells him, believe in Allah. There's no one worthy of worship but Allah. And I, Muhammad, am the messenger of Allah. That's the truth. Rukana ends up accepting Islam. Becomes Muslim on the spot and leaves from there as a Muslim, having believed in Islam. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story, number one, is that the Prophet could throw down. <laughs> the, the second moral of the story is that we know the Prophet ﷺ was a da'i, right? Somebody who called people to Allah. He was the ultimate da'i. All of us, you know, it's a responsibility we have, and we want to share the message of Islam with people, with the world. But there's a way to do that. There's a methodology, there's a way, there's a formula that has to be followed in doing that. And part of it is that when you give da'wah to people, when you talk about Islam to people, accommodate people, keep it real. Just be real with people, be normal with people, work with people, talk to people. And don't always just preach to people. Like just get into preacher mode. Like every time you want to share the message of Islam, you got to open up like a book. Alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasaghfiruhu. Don't turn it into a khutbah all the time. But mix it up with people, talk to people, get on their level with people. And this takes us to the ayah of the Qur'an, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawa'idhati al-hasana. Invite to the path of your Lord with wisdom and with a beautiful reminder. This is the wisdom and the beautiful reminder of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Let's try to be more like him and make sure our da'wah fits the da'wah of the Prophet ﷺ.